Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog hockey. And with us, head coach Bob Daniels. And coach, uh, welcome back to the show. Good to be here, Rob. Four game home stretch uh, here over the last two weeks for the Bulldogs. And uh, a good uh, accomplishment here for the Ferris State hockey team. You get six out of eight points, uh, win three of the four games in the home stretch. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it, it was a good accomplishment and, and happy to see us scoring goals. And, 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 uh, and really, I think playing better. Would have liked to have gone. Um, four for four and the interesting thing is on our loss on Friday night that actually was one of our better games we just really ran into a hot goaltender from uh, Huntsville and you know we, just, we weren't able to, uh, to to find a way to solve him on Friday night but real happy though with the way we're trending and the way the team's moving right now. You get the two wins over Alaska Anchorage uh, the week before, and then you come back this week, as you mentioned, against Alabama Huntsville and uh, a much improved Alabama Huntsville team. Yeah, they are improved, and um, you can see it even at the tail of the last year um, when Coach Corbett took over uh, uh, that program. Um, it's, they had a long way to go, and one of the issues was they hadn't been in a conference for a number of years, and it's very difficult to recruit to an independent team. When they joined the WCHA, brought Mike Corbett on board, um, you know, he, they, they really come quite a long ways in a short period of time. And, uh, you know, again, I, on Friday night, I don't know that we saw, uh, they, they actually, they, they didn't really play that well, truthfully. I mean, we really outplayed them. Um, it was their goaltender, but it was Saturday night when we won that I thought they actually, uh, their team played that much better. But they're going to win a lot of games yet this year, and they're certainly trending in the right direction. As we go to the highlights of uh, the first game on Friday night, uh, Alabama Huntsville uh, both nights uh, really with a quick start, a quick goal early in the game. Yeah, I did. I thought both nights they did. Uh, they jumped out, uh, and, and this night here I was nervous after the first four minutes, but after two periods I think we'd only given them eight shots on net. We were up in, in the 30s, so you know it wasn't as though you know outside of being back on our heels a little to start the game, uh, it wasn't like we were we were that much off and. Uh, um, you know, it was a tough game, I thought, for C.J. Mott to play in that he didn't see very many shots. And the one they did, like, pretty much every time they had a scoring chance, it was a really good one uh, and, and uh, was not much that C.J. could have done. Bulldogs give up the first goal, but uh, you come back, uh, you get the, the second goal, and uh, it's, it's tied up after two periods of play. Yeah, it is. It's tied up, and, and I felt really comfortable, as I said, going into the third, and that um, we really were controlling play here. Um, you know, um, Babinski, uh, Kenny Babinski had practiced all week. He was nursing a wrist injury, and I think that had an effect on him. And you, you saw there he had a hard time clearing the puck, something that normally wouldn't even be a, uh, an issue. Uh, here's another case where we're on the penalty kill, and uh, once again, we had a, a difficult time. We should have had that puck cleared out of our zone. Uh, and here, you can't really fault CJ. That puck was redirected right in front of him. They take a 3-1 to one lead, but uh, your team battles back, and uh, you get the Goal to pull within one and uh, certainly had some chances uh, to tie it up at the end. Yeah, we did. And uh, you'll see here in the highlight that we'll, we'll score here on the power play. And that's one of the bright spots lately. Uh, I think we've scored uh, five power play goals in the last four games. So now we're starting to see the power play come around. And, and that's going to be really beneficial as we continue to move on uh, uh, throughout the year. Um, Two guys that really, three guys that really had a good weekend, but two particular were uh, number six, uh, Shemp, and then also uh, Matt Robertson. I thought both guys had really strong games, uh, both Friday and Saturday nights. Matt Robertson uh, with five assists on the weekend uh, to lead you in, in scoring. Uh, Chad McDonald, a pair of goals, had four points, and Kyle Shemp, uh, two goals as well. Yeah, and you know what? I, I, I moved McDonald on that line with Shemp. Uh, and, and Robertson and McDonald, you know, and, and boy, that, they had played together the previous week. We had kind of retooled things when I moved Ansel Meany back uh, to the fence. But, you know, I, I decided to put them all back together again, and they, they really had a great game uh, Saturday night where I think they counted for four of our five goals. As we go to Saturday night's highlights, you mentioned five goals. Uh, the offense uh, comes alive again, and uh, you get a 5-2 to two victory uh, in, in the Saturday game. Yeah, and you know, 5-2, you look at it, you think, wow, we must have really controlled play, but we didn't. I thought this was a much more even game here. Like you had mentioned, they got off to a quick start. Uh, again, it was a, a goal where I don't think C.J. could do much about it. He never really saw it. It was kind of a seeing-eye goal, if you will. Here we're shorthanded. You're going to see a great play. Um, hitting uh, McDonald in for the breakaway, and it's nice when you can get a shorthanded goal. Uh, uh, on Saturday, we scored a shorthanded, a power play, an empty net goal, and a four and four goal. So we kind of had uh, hit all the marks. Bulldogs uh, again uh, here after two periods, you'll be tied up uh, against Alabama Huntsville, but uh, a big third period for the Bulldogs. Yeah, you're going to see that. And one of the issues was I, I don't know that we had ever had the lead. They're going to. Um, 
you know, up until this moment right here, I don't think we, we once held the lead uh, on the weekend. So this was kind of a big goal for us. And what it did, and you know, they will come back and tie us at two before we go into the third period. Here's one I think CJ would like to have back, a rebound that normally he would have gloved that. But um, when we, we jump out to a 3-2 lead right here, this is the four and four goal by McDonald. And that forced them to have to get out of their defensive shell, and I thought that's what really opened the game up for us as time went on. You can see here we're really controlling play well. Again, uh, here this weekend, uh, Bulldogs had a big crowd, as you can see in the student section, a uh, nice fan support uh, here, uh, especially in the Saturday game. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, we've enjoyed a, a great home ice advantage uh, for the past few years here, and it's really because of our student section. This will be a power play goal here by Mayhew. It's kind of interesting. I, uh, Mayhew doesn't get it. I guess it hits the crossbar, kicks out. Everyone thinks it went in, and then I give, uh, I, I give our guys credit for sticking with it and burying it. Jared Van Warmer uh, gets credit for the goal, and then uh, you'll get the empty net goal uh, coming up here shortly uh, as Kenny Babinski will uh, get the final goal tonight. Well, the weekend before, uh, Kenny Babinski had an opportunity to score an empty net goal and turned and, and gave it to Buzio to score. And then here, Matt Robertson probably could have scored that in the empty net, and he gave that over to Kenny Babinski. So I think that's a good sign when guys are willing to share. I mean, when you're going in on a two-on-one with the net empty, pretty sure either guy could score. So uh, I have told the guys, well, let's make sure that, number one thing, we get those goals because sometimes there's plenty of time left. We don't want to give the other team another chance of tying the game. Bulldogs get the win on Saturday night to wrap up the weekend, and uh, now you come back Thanksgiving weekend and uh, a big trip as you, you travel to Madison, Wisconsin to take on the Wisconsin Badgers. Yeah, it's been a few years since we've played there. Um, about, I don't know, there was a couple, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago, we, we went there twice in a row and won their tournament, and we hadn't been back for a while, and, and it'll be good to go back, and, and we always enjoy playing against the Big Ten teams. It'll be a, a, a nice size arena, you know, 11,000 people or so, so that gets you excited, and any time you get an opportunity to play Big Ten schools, we, we want to take advantage of that. Next year, uh, they'll make the trip back to Big Rapids, and uh, certainly you haven't seen Wisconsin uh, here in Big Rapids in quite some time. No, we, uh, I don't know that we've ever had Wisconsin here, Rob. You'd probably be able to answer that, but I think this will might be their maiden trip here to, to Big Rapids, and I, I, I think it's going to be great. I think our fans will enjoy it. Now, we're used to seeing the Ohio States, Michigan, and Michigan States of the Big Ten, but now we're getting a chance to get Wisconsin into our arena, and uh, we're looking forward to it, and we're appreciative that we've got a school uh, like Wisconsin that's willing to come to our rink, and realistically, they're only six hours away, so it's a short trip when we go there. Bulldogs uh, go to Wisconsin, then you get the week off, and then uh, you wrap up the, the pre-holiday portion with Lake Superior State at home. Yeah, and we're going to enjoy that week off. We've gone uh, straight through from the first weekend of October uh, right into December, and we could use the week off. Guys can start getting ready for finals. We'll have finals week, and then we'll play uh, Lake Superior State. Really looking forward to, to that, and, and, and then we're going to need rest because when we get back, it's a GLI tournament, immediately 11-day trip to Alaska. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations again on the, on the win uh, to wrap up the weekend, and best of luck to the Bulldogs as you travel to Wisconsin. Thanks, Rob. That's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Ferris State football in the NCAA playoffs at noon this Saturday.